It's the question every automation engineer gets asked sooner or later. Siemens or Allen Bradley? Two giants, two ecosystems, and two completely different ways of building smart factories. But which one is right for your project? Is Siemens really better for advanced systems and integration? Is Allen Bradley simpler to program and faster to deploy? And in 2025, does the answer change based on where you are or what industry you're in? Today, we're breaking it all down, from software and hardware to networks, support, and real-world application. Because the truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all. So, let's answer the only question that matters. Which PLC should you choose in 2025? Do you want answers? Watch the full video to get them. Before we compare specs, let's talk about where these two platforms come from because the roots of Siemens and Allen Bradley tell us a lot about how they work today. Let's start with Siemens. Founded in Germany, Siemens is a global powerhouse in electrical engineering, industrial automation, energy, and healthcare. In the automation world, Siemens is best known for its S7 series of PLCs and its all-in-one software environment, TAA Portal. Siemens dominates Europe and Asia and is often the go-to solution in industries that demand highly integrated centralized control, especially in automotive, food and beverage, and process plants. If you're walking into a large European factory, chances are good that Siemens is running the show. Now on the other side of the Atlantic, we've got Allen Bradley, a brand owned by Rockwell Automation. Allen Bradley is hugely dominant in North America. It's trusted by OEMs, systems integrators, and large manufacturers alike. Their flagship PLC platforms, Compact Logix and Control Logix, are paired with Studio 5000, a powerful and accessible development environment. In fact, in the US and Canada, it's often not a question of which PLC, but which Allen Bradley model. Why? Three reasons. Strong distributor network. Excellent hardware reliability. Widespread integrator experience. But here's where it gets interesting. These companies aren't just hardware manufacturers. They're deeply embedded in how automation is taught, standardized, and implemented. In many regions, what you learn in school or what your local OEM uses automatically pushes you toward one brand or the other. And that brings us to the most important idea of this section. Your choice isn't just about specs, it's about ecosystems. Where you're located, what your team already knows, and what your industry prefers will shape which platform makes sense for you. Coming up next, we'll dive into the part that most engineers interact with daily, the programming environment. So, which one's easier to learn? More powerful in the long run? Let's find out. Let's get into the real engine room of every PLC project, the software. Because no matter how powerful your hardware is, if the software feels clunky, your project is going to suffer. And this is where Siemens and Allen Bradley start to show their differences, not just in design, but in philosophy. First up, Siemens TIA Portal. TIA stands for Totally Integrated Automation, and it lives up to the name. It's an all-in-one platform where you can program your PLC, configure your HMI, set up your drives, assign tags, manage your networks, simulate your logic, and troubleshoot, all from a single interface. You get ladder logic, structured text, function block diagram, and more, all based on IEC 61131. Three standards, everything is modular, everything is layered. And the more complex your system is, the more this structure pays off. But here's the trade-off. TIA Portal is powerful, but it has a learning curve. It's built for engineers who love structure, reuse, and control over every detail. Now let's switch over to Studio 5000 from Alan Bradley. Right away, you'll notice it feels more intuitive. The tag-based programming system is clear and user-friendly. Everything is built around routines, programs, and tasks with clean segmentation of logic. And when it comes to creating reusable code, add-on instructions, AOIs, make it easy to build modular, maintainable logic blocks, even if you're working on a tight timeline. One big advantage? For small to mid-sized systems, Studio 5000 often feels faster to deploy. It's less about engineering theory and more about practical execution. Now, let's talk licensing and usability. 
Siemens TIA Portal offers a flexible tiered model, but full access can get pricey. Studio 5000 tends to be more expensive overall, especially for smaller teams, but is often bundled through OEMs or integrators. And what about compatibility? Siemens software works best with Profinet networks and S7 hardware. Allen Bradley thrives in Ethernet IP environments, where you'll find tons of compatible devices already in the field. Here's the bottom line. If your team values deep integration and long-term scalability, Siemens is a strong pick. If you want speed, simplicity, and plug-and-play support in the US market, Allen Bradley makes a lot of sense. But software is just one side of the coin. How do the actual hardware components compare? Let's break it down next. Now that we've looked at the software side, let's talk about the machines themselves, because behind every PLC program is a piece of hardware, and this is where real-world performance kicks in. Let's start with Siemens. Their PLC lineup is best known through the S7 family. The S7-1200 is great for smaller applications, compact, affordable, and perfect for things like packaging machines or basic process control. The S7-1500 is the powerhouse. Designed for complex, high-speed applications with full redundancy, motion control, integrated diagnostics, and real-time data logging. They also offer ET200 series for distributed I.O. setups, helping you scale systems across multiple zones or machines. What stands out with Siemens? Precision diagnostics, tight profit integration, and modular expansion that feels seamless. Now let's switch to Allen Bradley. The most commonly used models are the Micro 800 series for basic, budget-friendly control, the Compact Logics for mid-size projects, popular in OEM equipment, and the Control Logics series, which rivals Siemens S7-1500 in power and flexibility and is widely used across automotive and industrial applications. Here's where AB really shines. Tag-based addressing across the system robust Ethernet, IP communication, and excellent modular I.O. options that scale easily in plant-wide systems. Let's talk networking for a second. Siemens prefers Profinet, which is fast, deterministic, and integrates perfectly with their drives, HMIs, and SCADA systems. Allen Bradley uses Ethernet IP, which is equally fast and widely supported in North America, especially among OEMs. And what about reliability? Both platforms are built for 24 7 industrial uptime. Both support redundancy, hot swappable modules, and diagnostic tools that help catch issues before they become downtime. But it's not just about uptime, it's about how well these systems scale. Siemens is often favored in centralized high-end projects with complex I.O. networks and SEADA integration. Allen Bradley thrives in distributed OEM-driven systems with multiple compact controllers across different machines. So here's the takeaway. If you're building a system where everything talks through Siemens hardware, go Siemens. If your factory floor is already filled with Allen Bradley panels, sensors, and drives, don't reinvent the wheel. But hardware and software are only part of the picture. Let's talk about something that makes a huge difference when things don't go as planned. Support and community. So you've picked your platform, installed your hardware, written your logic, and then something breaks. Now what? Support can make or break your experience. And here, both Siemens and Allen Bradley bring different strengths to the table. Let's start with Siemens. This company has a truly global footprint, especially strong in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Their online documentation is extensive, their knowledge base is regularly updated, and their community forums are active with engineers sharing real-world solutions. If you're working on a large-scale project, Siemens also offers professional support packages and in-depth certified training programs through Siemens Sitrain. But here's the key. Siemens support really shines if you're dealing with multi-layered systems, especially those involving SCADA, drives, and motion. Now let's look at Allen Bradley. In North America, Rockwell Automation support is top tier. You get access to Rockwell Tech Connect, an industry-leading service platform. Need phone support? They've got it. Need a technician on site? 
That's part of their network too. Plus, many OEMs and integrators are already deeply familiar with AB products. So finding local expertise is fast and easy. And don't underestimate third-party resources. Forums like PLC Talk, YouTube Tutorials, and even Reddit are packed with AB and Siemens content. So what does this mean for you? If you're based in the US, Allen Bradley gives you fast local support with deep integration into domestic OEM systems. If you're in Europe or managing global sites, Siemens gives you scale, structure, and multilingual documentation built for complexity. And finally, what if you're still undecided? Here's the part most people skip, but we won't. Let's break it down clearly. Choose Siemens if you're in Europe, Asia, or operating globally. You want deep integration between PLC, HMI, and SCADA. Your project involves complex systems, distributed I.O., or advanced safety logic. Your team is familiar with structured programming and TIA portal. Choose Allen Bradley if you're in North America or working with U.S.-based OEMs. You need fast deployment and intuitive software like Studio 5000. Your facility runs on Ethernet IP and already uses AB components. Your team values ease of use, modularity, and flexible expansion. Still not sure? Ask yourself, what does my existing infrastructure look like? What does my team already know? And which ecosystem will grow with me, not against me? Because at the end of the day, there's no absolute winner. So, Siemens versus Allen Bradley? It's not about which one is better. It's about which one is better for you. They're both powerful, both reliable, and both here to stay in 2025 and beyond. What's your experience with these platforms? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear which one you prefer and why. Subscribe if you're passionate about automation and stay tuned for our next video. How PLCs keep food safe in automated production lines. This video is produced by Autumn 8, the global platform connecting robot and PLC programmers with companies shaping the future of industry. For hiring insights and smart automation tools, visit autumn8deal.com. Because when it comes to automation, we don't just talk about the future, we help build it.